Here's a disc of glass. Not very remarkable. It doesn't magnify. It's quite flat. So what's the good point of it? And it costs a lot of money, incidentally. And where do you buy them? Well, it costs 20 or 30 pounds, and you get them from magic shops. There's a magic trick involved in this here. A very clever bit of science discovered probably about 1890, I think it was. You're supposed to breathe in it to make the magic appear, or something to appear. But I find perhaps it's too dry air, and I need some, something to help me. So I'm going to hold it over a kettle, and we'll see what happens when that all gets misted up. Hold up like that. Oh, that's beautiful. Let's see if we can get that to perform now. There we are. And hold up the camera. Seriously. I need to have it a little bit more, a little more steam in the middle. If I could do this by breathing on it, it'd be absolutely magical, but I can't seem to be able to do that. Four o'clock it shows, and that's one of the answers. That works better than the one o'clock, which is the other way around. So, and gradually as you hold it there, it will slowly, slowly evaporate and disappear to the point at which the, it's no longer there. It's, it, and it's then completely transparent. What's happened is it's been etched with fluoric acid, so the actual words and the features are there, but only a tiny fraction of a millimeter in depth. So, absolute magic, and it comes from this, ooh, well, it's first mentioned, I think, in about 18, 1890, well, 1900 it's mentioned here, but here's a picture of the very early one produced by Mr. Widman. They say he's a very clever chemist, probably from Belgium, I think it was originally. So, a magic, magic effect, all done with a little disc, and when you've got the right trick and you can breathe in it, which is much better to do it that way, you get um, you get an extraordinary ex thing happen, both sides too. Ooh, the magic in the glass, yes.